guys, this new user interface is ridiculous. It is so awesome. So much has changed. This game, it looks completely different. I can't wait to show you all of this. So stick around, because let's do this. <laughs> Hey everyone, what's happening? Lex back today for another Brawl Stars video, but this one is a special one because we are here in the developer version of the game, and I'm going to show you all the ins and outs of the new user interface, as well as we're going to take a look at the characters, and I'm going to show you the process of upgrading one completely to max so that you get an idea of what it is that you're going to be doing. So this is a good place to start right here. This is your new brawler screen, all right? So definitely looks a lot different, as you guys can probably hear. You can hear some different music too. Look, we got, we got old Daryl right here looking pretty fine. But first off, let's get into one of the brawlers. Let's show you what she looks like here. Here's Shelly, and let's look at her upgrade. So this is the upgrade screen you saw. As you can see, it's changed a little bit since uh, our update video, but not a lot. And I'm going to show you all the ins and outs of how it is that you're going to be upgrading your brawlers and how that works just by using tokens first. And then we're going to go in and open some boxes, and you're going to see what it looks like with gems as well. So. First thing to note is that here's my tokens right up here, right? Our tokens are again are your currency for upgrading your brawlers. Now it takes 2,440 tokens to upgrade your brawler fully to max. Also right here on the screen, as you can see, this is your rank. That's the new thing we were talking about, getting the milestones and whatnot. These are your ranks. They're based off of your trophies, but you're kind of just known by your rank. So we'll, we'll see more about that here soon, but that's where that is right up there at the top. Again, here's your profile. Here's kind of a cool thing. It shows your best time as a boss. This is talking about those two new game modes and your best Robo Rumble time, which the best I've gotten so far is like six minutes and 30 seconds. It's pretty dang hard, but we'll, we'll see that here in the future. Just before we get into the brawlers, let's, let's jump over here real quick. And this is our new ban screen, right? So this is your ban and you can see it shows that I'm online. And not only does it show if you're online or not, but it also tells you when the last time that person logged in was. It only shows up to 30 days, I believe. That may change, and it may be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Um, normal screens here are pretty similar to your uh, screen that you're used to. It just looks, everything looks different, of course. And I think it looks pretty super slick, and as you can probably hear, there's some new music as well. And of course, you'll be able to see your other people's profile as well, as well as when somebody talks, you can just click on their name and view their profile. We've been wanting that for a long time, and it's now here as well. Check this out. Game rooms, guys. Okay, the game rooms are dope. I am loving this. Okay, so let's say you've got everybody in your band, and you're playing your games. You want to switch, you just tap on the map, and whatever's up right now, I can't do it right now because my brawler's only level five and has no rank, but I can fix that, right? All right, now that we've got them unlocked, let's check this out. You open up the screen, it says choose your map, whichever one you want. Let's say we were playing Smash and Grab, I wanna play Robo Rumble, let's jump right into it. Instantly changes, nobody in your room leaves. Go over here, now we wanna play some Brawl Ball. That's awesome, but that's not all, so check this out. Friendly battles, you move over, and this is what we were talking about, you can choose any map that you want let's just scroll through here uh you know let's let's say we want to play some showdown boom check it out you're ready to get 10 people up in your showdown room and have a ball oh it's a lot of fun if you uh, any empty spaces that were uh left that didn't get filled up like if you only had eight people you could still start it you'll just have two bots all right so let's check out a character screen here and let's show you what it's like to upgrade it now i've got enough tokens to fully upgrade shelly to max here purely using tokens so let's do that again these are your pins as you can see pins medals and badges right there and we talked about those in my previous video and on the right hand side are your crests let's see what happens here so if we click on our pins we can buy it for 20 tokens so we can buy that and we can buy the next one and the next one and we just keep going up or you can fill in these ones and then this one i mean you can do it however you want um but eventually you need to fill all of those up now as you can see i've got two pins left and also note that you know the pins are 20 tokens and the badges are 50 tokens and of course they get progressively more expensive the higher you go up as well as from the boxes the pins the badges and medals are all different rarities so it's harder to get a medal drop out of a badge than it is to get a pin and the way that the system works if you get a new brawler you're more likely to get pins badges and medals for that brawler than one that you've already have really progressed so keep that in mind so let's go ahead and fill up our pin badges here. Now that we got all of our pins, we got nine of nine pins. As you can see, my health crest is now available. This health crest, it's really expensive, 300 tokens. However, it gives me 320 health, 
where this next health uh, right up here, a high level health badge next to the top only gives me 160. So you can see these crests are really worth it. So let's go ahead and purchase that. And then again, let's go ahead and fill these up right here. Buy all of these and then we can get our badge. Our badge is for the super. The super just increases the damage on your super or it increases the whatever your super does. Let's buy that as well, because this is all theoretical tokens. Let's get these medals. There are 120 tokens per uh, medal. And then we're going to pick up our attack crest, which is, again, our, our normal standard attack. It's, it's a bonus on top of that. So on the top right, you can see here, this is your power. This is the total power of all your upgrades, right? Um, so it's kind of like your elixir value. Now, when you say, I have a 15 elixir Shelly, well, this will be like, I have a 50 power Shelly. That's maximum is 50 power. So, and now our Shelly is fully maxed out. So that's what happens when you max out a brawler using strictly tokens. Okay, cool. That's very straightforward. Well, how about opening boxes? Well, we can do that too. Now, I don't have any gems right now, but again, I can fix that just like this. Yeah, buddy, right there. 1850 diamonds. I just got myself a free hundred dollars worth of gems so let's go ahead and open up some boxes and let's see what we get all right so the first big box here we're gonna open up oh we got a new brawler cool screen right it's a new intro we got nita right there she's coming in so it shows that we got two of five common brawlers open up another we get colt right there very nice i wonder if i'm gonna get a duplicate colt no no because those don't exist anymore right okay so we got upgrade tokens there's 10 that's the smallest level you can get is 10 i have seen up to 160 out of a box um, which is pretty considerable. I've only seen that a few times though, so I don't know what the rarities and the drop rates are. I'm sure once you guys see enough of these videos, there's gonna be somebody that figures out all the drop rates of them, but you know, there you go, 10 is the lowest. Uh, there's a 20, and here comes Dynamite rolling into town, right like that, bam, Dynamite, very nice. Okay, so I haven't got any of the pins, crests, or badges from anything yet. We're gonna get there. Coin doublers, coin doublers are still in there. Um, so we got some tokens. Let's go. Oh, there we go. We got Bull. We, he's got an attack pin. Very nice. And neither there's a super pin. Again, pins are like commons. Now, badges would be more like a, a rare. Uh, so that's cool. That's a good drop right there. And then there's another attack badge. Wow. That is awesome. So we're getting some pretty good stuff now. Let's, after this box, we're going to jump over here. All right. Now that we've unlocked some stuff, what was it? Nita. So check it out. She's got two of her badges, but she's got none of her bo lower pins. So as you can see, if you buy them with tokens, you have to start at the bottom and move your way up. But if you get it from boxes, it's random. Now I can't buy the ones below. I still have to move progressively up to get up there. And you still have to buy all the ones in the pins, all the badges and all the medals, to fill them up to unlock the crest. I hope that makes sense. All right, so one other cool little hidden feature that we haven't made mention of yet is that two new brawlers have voices. That's right, we've got Nita and Piper. Well, let me turn off the sound real quick so that we can turn off the music so that we can hear those. Okay, so let's check this out. <laughs> yeah! All right, let's move on to Piper. You're welcome. Give me some sugar. That one's a little disturbing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sugar and spice. Oh, too bad. <laughs> You're welcome. Anyway, so there's a cool little couple extra voices in there. I love the voice acting. I know some people don't really care for it, but I think it's a lot of fun. So if you like voice acting, Nita and Piper, they now got a voice. All right, so finally, let's move over to the shop section. Okay, most of this all looks the same, except for the, you know, the aesthetics of it look different. But here's one really cool thing that is definitely new. And that is if you scroll down, we've got Mythic Brawler boxes now. 350 gems, so it's not cheap. However... If, you, if you've been trying to get Terra for so long and you haven't been able to get her, 350 gems and she's yours. Now, all these prices are subject to change, but I think that's going to stay the way it is. 350 gems, guaranteed. So, And after you get it, you can see right here, you've already unlocked all the brawlers. So if I've already gotten Mortis, I can open one of these, th these Mythic bra Brawler boxes, guaranteed to get Terra, and then after that, it goes away, you can't do it anymore. Because again, there's no more duplicates in the game. So that extra mythic brawler box, yeah buddy, that's awesome. All right, so one more thing here is that, you know we talked about the milestones, right? So every time you rank up, which is, this is our rank right here, is rank six now. Uh, every time you rank up, you get a bonus. As you can see here, um, it'll also show you your current end of season reward. So you know what you're getting uh, before, you don't have to guess, you just, you know, you know what you're gonna get, right? And so let's, let's see what it looks like whenever we rank up. All right, so here we go. We ranked up, and we're going to get our 50 extra coins just from ranking up here at the lower levels. Eight, it goes up. Nine, you know, so it goes up like that. 
So you just extra coins. You can never complain about extra coins, right? Because we weren't getting any before, and it's not a ton, but they do add up. All right, so that's going to wrap it up for this episode. I hope you enjoyed seeing the new UI, guys. This game is so, it's so much more polished now. I, I, I love it. it. It's what, you know, I, the music is okay to me. I, I don't really care for it too much, but that's, that's a very small detail. You may really like it. That's just my personal preference. But, I mean, everything else about this, I just love it. It's like I didn't realize how much I liked this until I started using it. When I first logged on, I was like, whoa, this is so different. I don't know. And I started using it. I'm like, oh, no, this is awesome. You guys are going to love it. All right, so you guys stay tuned for more sneak peeks coming. Uh, we're gonna be, we're gonna do some gameplay. We're gonna show the new game modes and all that good stuff coming soon. Uh, I got some really lit collabs coming up for you guys, some big time collabs. So stay tuned for that. Subscribe, turn notifications on. You get to gonna see all of the sneak peek information right here from Lex. As soon as I can show it to you guys, I will show it to you. So that's gonna wrap it up, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. And as always, until next time. I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Lex out.